This video is for all Stober servo gear units using a clamp coupling. The adapters include MT, ME, MF, and MQ for KL units. Let's review the motor mounting procedure. First, check the nameplate on the gear unit, where you can find part number information and the gear unit serial number and QR code. Scan the QR code or visit the Stober website and enter the serial number for more information. Each Stober gear unit comes with an operating manual, which will include motor tolerances, bolt tightening torques, and more. Read the gear unit and motor's operating manual before installation. Step 1. Remove the screw plug from the access hole in the motor adapter. Step 2. Align the access hole with the Allen screw in the clamp ring by turning the gear unit output shaft or the input coupling. Step 3. A split bushing is installed when the motor shaft is smaller than the input coupling bore in the gear unit. If your gear unit is supplied with an adapter bushing, remove the bushing and degrease the inside and outside of the bushing. Degrease the coupling bore. Reinsert the bushing by aligning the slot with the slot in the clamp ring. Slide the bushing into the bore until it contacts the coupling face. Step 4. Before mounting the motor, remove the feathered key from the motor shaft if a key was supplied with the motor. Clean the motor shaft with degreaser to remove any film, oil, or excess grease. Rotate the motor shaft's key groove 180 degrees from the slot on the gear unit's clamp ring. The coupling features a grooved pin, which allows for easy mounting and dismounting. The grooved pin is for ME adapters only. Turn the screw 90 degrees after contact is made with the grooved pin. This will force the coupling apart to allow for the shaft to slide in or out. Place the gear unit onto the motor shaft. Support the gear unit while sliding the motor shaft into the coupling. Ensure the motor adapter and motor faces mate. Step 5. Tighten the motor bolts to the recommended torque, which can be found on the operating manual. Step 6. With a torque wrench, tighten the Allen screw on the coupling to the recommended torque, also shown on the operating manual. Avoid over-tightening the bolts as this could damage the clamp ring. Do not under-tighten as this could result in inadequate clamping force. The coupling operates free of backlash and if installed correctly, requires no maintenance. Step 7. Reinsert the screw plug to the access hole of the gear unit motor adapter. The installation of the servo motor is now complete. For questions about motor mounting, please contact Stober or visit Stober.com.